Good morning guys, so I'm still up here in Singapore. I've got all of my work stuff over and done with, which means I'm on holiday for the next two days. So I'm just really excited to explore. Later on today, I'm gonna to be meeting up with some of you guys. I always really enjoy meeting our subscribers, especially when I'm in different countries. And then later on, I'm gonna meet up with some of my friends from Google and they're just gonna show me around Singapore at nighttime. I'm staying at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. I'd heard about this place and I knew when I came to Singapore I had to check it out. It has the world's largest infinity pool and you can literally see all of Singapore while you're swimming. It's crazy and it's just so relaxing up here. was nice but at the same time it got me missing my girls you see all these families here and I just wish Nikki and Ava were here to enjoy this with me I think I'm gonna have to come back and take them with me the most awkward thing just happened in the elevator there was this old Chinese lady and she came in and said hello I was like hello I was like, it's such a beautiful view up here isn't it and she started blushing and she said oh oh thank you thank you thank you very much I think she thought I was hitting on her <laughs> Before I came to Singapore, I checked the weather and it said it was going to be raining every single day that I'm here. Since I've been here, it hasn't rained. And all the Singaporeans I've spoken to have told me you never trust a weather report over here. So I figured it would be okay to do an outdoor meetup. I'm walking down there now. And all of a sudden, for the first time since I'm here, it has started pouring rain. <laughs> Nature really has a funny sense of humor. Some of these amazing people actually came out in the pouring rain to come and hang out with me. So I'm just really thankful. This is everybody who came. And we have some Singaporean vloggers. So you got to check out their channel. Yes, check us out. They're to Titus. <laughs> Thank you, JV. Guys, you have to see this painting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you guys this. This is the amazing artist right here. Oh. I still can't believe she did this. I really love abstract art. I have to frame this when I get home. Oh. It's really beautiful. I love it. What do you think of the Singlish here though? The what? Si I haven't heard, I've heard of Singlish, but I haven't really heard anyone talking Singlish. So tell me some Singlish. How do I speak Singlish? You have to add a la at the end of every sentence. La. Whatever la. Oh, whatever la. <laughs> <laughs> what else did I say? So Nikki would be like, what the heck, La? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're all getting really hungry and we thought, <laughs> let's go get some lunch at a place called Satay by the Bay. Yeah. It's good? It's good. It's like a lot of stalls, like a Western food, chicken rice, Sunday itself. So. Nice, I'm excited. This is going to be my first time trying local Singaporean food. So we have just had a really nice lunch. We end up just hanging out and chatting for like two hours. I'm sorry to everybody who couldn't make it because of the rain, but I'm actually really glad that it was just a really small, intimate gathering because we all got to really hang out and chat, which yeah. is really cool. It was fun. Now I'm going to catch the train to a place called Orchard Road, which is, from what I'm told, the main place to be in Singapore. Orchard Road, Singapore's biggest shopping strip. I don't really have any plans while I'm here. I just kind of wanted to just walk around aimlessly and get lost. It's something I love to do when I'm traveling, just get lost and stumble across random stuff. walking around for a while now and I've come to the conclusion 
but Orchard Street really reminds me of Oxford Street in London. It's just a super long street where the shops just keep repeating themselves. Just when you think you're gonna get to a new shop, all of a sudden you see another H&M or another Zara. She already know I stay fly. Stay fly. She love the way I drive. Oh, yeah. She already know I get yeah. wild. She love the way I drive. She know it never stop, Mr. Responsible, Mr. Never Responsible, Mr. Responsible. I'm walking around Little India now. I'm about to meet up with some of my friends from Google. They're gonna take me out to dinner. Orchard Road was cool and all, but to be honest, I'm really loving it down here. I finally feel like I'm in another country. There's just so much culture around here. It's amazing. Yeah. A treasure lent me from a I'm here with Raj and Pratish. They work at YouTube and they've taken me to an Indian restaurant and they've recommended that I try the biryani. It looks really, really good. It's massive serving. Ooh, really nice. You don't need to finish all the thing. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> so it's huge. So if it gets too spicy, you can put it in the right dough. It is a little bit spicy. Yeah. The spice sort of kicks in like a few seconds after you yeah. take a bite. This, this is to put the fire down. Ah, nice. Also, we got these milkshakes. They've got like milk, yogurt, and a bunch of other stuff in it. And they're amazing. What are these called? These are amazing. These are so good. Yeah. And I really need them because my mouth is suddenly on fire. So we saw all these police riot vans going down this street. There was three of them plus a police car. We have no idea what's going on, but something's definitely going down. As long as I... Are we lost? Yes. <laughs> Rajan said he's already there. Trying to find Rajan and we've kind of got lost. We're inside of this hawker market. Everything's pretty much closed. Bye. Hey! How are you bro? Good to see you man. Hello. So this is this is where we're having a beer. Let's get it. It's a really good tagline. It says no great story ever began with somebody eating a salad. <laughs> I've heard that before actually. The common iteration of that is uh, with a glass of milk. Cheers! Dude, there is no way I'm doing that. I got anxious just watching them do it. You should have stood over there because you get the thing like flying over your head. Oh, right? wow. So we were standing over there. Good morning guys. So I'm so excited about what I'm getting up to today. I actually couldn't sleep last night because I was so excited. I'm going to be driving a Lamborghini freaking Aventador, man. I'm going to be driving it around Singapore. This is one of my all time favorite cars. This is like nearly a million dollar car or maybe they are a million dollars in a year. I don't know. I don't really want to know. It's so expensive. The place where I'm staying I actually have a service where you can hire these cars out and drive them around for like half an hour or an hour and they're generously allowing me to take one out for a test drive so i'm so excited anyway i don't want to be late for this so i'm gonna head downstairs i'm here with my friend suman from ultimate drive and this is my ride oh my god that is so nice scissor doors oh man Look at this interior, it looks like a cockpit. It's amazing. Yeah, take a center lane or the street. Wow. This thing just wants to go. <laughs> he cannot go slow, you know? He, he wants to go on it. Yeah, he, he don't want to go slow. He just wants to go. <laughs> 
to the right lane if they can. Oh, <laughs> this is like downshifting. <laughs> so much swimming that was a once in a lifetime experience it was All amazing right. the car was incredible to drive it was so quick it was so smooth um, so if people want to come and drive a Lamborghini in Singapore yep. do they have to stay at the hotel no not really so anyone, anyone, can come. anyone can come it was amazing thank you so All much right, no man. I really thank appreciate it Congratulations and let the force be with you. <laughs> Something that I really love about Singapore is how multicultural it is. I was literally just walking down the street and I stumbled across this place that's called Haji Lane. And when I first looked at the artwork, I thought it was Aztec or Mayan or something like that. But this street actually represents the Malaysian influence of Singaporean culture. So I guess it's sort of like little Malaysia. And the artwork here is just amazing the vibe is really cool it's sort of got that hipster feel about it this is this is my type of place Hi. so i'm just in mcdonald's doing a mini meetup at the moment this is the busiest McDonald's I've ever been to in my life. There's nowhere to sit, but everyone's really friendly. Really nice to meet you guys. Funny, the other day I was complaining I couldn't find a camera store. Pretty much every second or third shop in this mall that I'm in right now is a camera store. Or a tech store at least. I should have came here the other day. Hi dad. <laughs> hi dad. That was a fast hi dad. I miss you. I miss you so much. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, mommy. Tickle, mommy. Tickle. Tickle, daddy. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Ah, uh, thanks for the kiss. Ah, uh, very nice. Thanks for blowing me a kiss. That was a very uh, nice kiss. Kiss. Ah, uh, thanks for blowing me kisses. Ah, uh, I miss you. I can't wait to give you a real one. Uh, 
miss you so much. And she's like, okay, I'm done. I'm heading to meet up with Rajan at this Mexican place that he told me about. And I got here and the, it's like this massive thing full of restaurants inside a beautiful white church. It's really interesting. And yes, I know, before you say it in the comments, I too see the irony of coming to Singapore and eating Mexican, but I like Mexican. I got the beef burrito, which looks really amazing. And what'd you get? I got a roasted poblano pepper. Uh, it's pretty good, you should try it. Good recommendation of this place, bro. And Rajat was telling me that this place is actually still a functioning church. And when was it built? This place was built in 1841. It was also bombed during World War II, but it's now like pretty swanky, you can see it. It's yeah, pretty neat. It's amazing that they rebuilt it. Yep. Anyway, let's dig in. This looks so good. Well, that's it for today's vlog. And hopefully I'll be in focus soon. There I am. That's it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in Singapore. I had a blast over there. I really love creating these travel vlogs. It's something that I'm really, really passionate about. So all of your support really, really means a lot to me. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And as you guys can see, I'm back home now. It's so good to be back with my girls. Sorry they weren't in today's vlog. Nikki and Ava have actually been sick the last couple of days, but they're feeling a lot better today. So they'll definitely be in the next vlog. Hope you're all having an amazing day and we'll see you on Friday. Bye.